Good afternoon. Beautiful people. Families and friends. I'm going to tackle up some things around my house. Do a little dusting. A little vacuum. The floor is dirty. The vac the floor is dirty. The rugs are dirty. I need to vacuum. I got a lot of trash down on the rug. See that? Okay, I need to vacuum. I got my little vacuum. Plus, I got my heavy-duty vacuum. And some things I'm going to tighten up. Do a little dusting on my TV. The TV's kind of dusty. And move some things around and put it away. Vacuum some floors. Let my plants have a little sunshine, not too much. Um, I don't need to water them right now because they already been watered last week. And just do a little dusting and cleaning. And this is my little dining room connected to my living room. See, that's the front door. So, like, when you come in... You just see the whole living room and the kitchen, so everything is connected. Um, I will be moving real soon, but not too soon, but soon. God's willing. Everything just fall in place for me. And I'm going to do a little bit today, a little bit tomorrow. Don't mean I'm going to get everything all done. And I want to dust a lot of stuff off. And this is where my son is at. I cremated my older son. He over there in that urn right there. Right there. Right there. I don't know, can you see? But he's right there where them two little bears at. Okay. And other family members, my mom, my cousin, my friends. One of my stepdaughters is up in there, too. Um, but anyway, the, I want to dust and clean a little bit. And um, this is my little dining room connected to the living room. Okay? And then I got a kitchen over here. Um, it need to be tightened up. I, I want to do the kitchen tomorrow. No, no, I'm going to wash the dishes up today. But I'm just saying, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get these dishes out the way, move some stuff around in the kitchen, and I might do that sometime tonight. First, I'm going to wash the dishes up, put them away, and then um, um, move some stuff around because it looks like it's getting tight. My kitchen's not that big, so I'm, I'm going to do a little bit tomorrow. And then when I step over here in the hallway, this is my bedroom. So I have a master um, bedroom. Um, Alexa, turn bedroom light on. Okay. Okay. So uh, this is my bed, my walls. I have stuff up on my walls and stuff like that. You probably can't hardly see because it's kind of dark in here. Um, my walls are purple. And I have a bathroom back here. Plus, I added to make it look like a laundry room. Excuse the, the closet door. My manager going to come over and hook them up for me. He getting new rollers at the tip top. You know, the things connected to make it roll way up there at the tip top. Okay, he going to get some new rollers. And it gave me enough time to straighten out my closet, okay? It gave me enough, enough time to straighten out my closet. I use a lot of containers like these right here. I use a lot of these kind of containers with the rubber tops and stuff. 
are these boxes right I mean purple boxes and stuff and um gave away a lot of old clothes I did not need so that's why all these hangers are empty and gave it to the women really need some things but we're going to talk about a closet later I used the closet for storage and my clothes and things I used through the years so that's what I use that closet for, for. Oh, and this right here, this closet, got it off of Amazon. And I use it for my hair stuff, feet stuff, self-care stuff, you know, this, this stuff in there. And I'm going to go through here too, but not today. And just like I was saying, I use a lot of these buckets around my house. I'm glad this bathroom is pretty, pretty large where I can have these kind of buckets. But the next place I get, I can put these buckets inside of closets and close the door. You never know. I have a lot of stuff inside of buckets. Before I had a lot of furniture, I had to live out of these buckets. You understand what I'm saying? Putting our sheets, putting our pillowcases, uh, comforters. Stuff like that. Kids' clothes, um, toys, but no one stay here now but me. So, now I'm trying to figure out what to do and how to do it. So, this is my little uh, washroom. Um, I pushed all this stuff back because I was fin I'm going to get this closet fixed. And these detergents and stuff over here sitting over here i want to empty most of them and put them in a smaller one so when i do use the back um start washing and this is my little washing machine it's a washer and spinner dryer up in here and i made this bathroom to be a little washroom instead of a bathroom I have two bathrooms. So I just use this one. Um, like everybody else got washrooms. I don't have a washroom. So I just took a bathroom. And made it something I could work with. Okay, my manager finna come in and put me another shower head up here. Because this one kind of broke. And it busted. But he gonna put it. So it would be easier putting my water with the shower head like this it'd be easier for me to wet it like that because this right here is busted if you can really tell yep it busted so it was a cheap one um the pg &E company came out and gave us new shower heads but this one broke but besides the point this is a washer spinner dryer this how the spinner dryer look on this side it just spin your clothes when you get through washing uh wrenching spin it out bring it back over bring it back over here and then what do you do you bring it and you put it in your portable dryer You put in your portable dryer. This is a little kit. You just put some water up in here. But anyway, this is this bathroom is big enough for me to still do whatever I need to do in the bathroom. This is my little vanity made into the apartment. I just added some stuff up here. But once I fix it up, it'll look different. Right now, it'll just look crowded and stuff because I fence to um straighten it up as soon as the manager come through here so this is what I'm doing for this bathroom the bathroom I'm doing a little work up in here okay and a little work up in my bedroom you know just a little dusting cleaning things off I got everything set up to clean everything off, to to dust, to clean, and 
run the mop over the floor, the vacuum. Here go my other vacuum cleaner right here. I'm going to need this one because I want to dump it out. I want to dump it out. So I want to have both of the vacuum cleaners in it in here. I want to make this video kind of short. And I got both of my vacuums. My things to dust with and all that stuff. And I'm going to turn some air on up in here because it's getting warm. It's still warm in California. North California. That's where I'm at. North California. So, we go in the second bathroom. I want to pick up these um, rugs, wash them, fold them up, and put me another set out. Still go with the um, shower curtains. And I want to wash these towels, stuff like that. So, I got other rugs to go with that same shower curtain. Could go down here. You see what I'm saying? And then I want to wipe this here up. It's not bad, bad, but, you know, it could, you know, if you sit on it, it could get worse than this. Then you step in this room. It's my makeup room, my office room, my prayer room. And when my daughter or one of my kids come over, they could sleep right over there on that day bed. Okay, and don't touch none of my stuff. I don't want nobody touching my stuff because I got it set up in here the way I want it, the way I like it, because she don't live here anymore. A lot of stuff over here is my Amazon. When I buy things, I just pack it away, sit it up in my closet. So I use this closet for a storage room, living on a budget, but living on a storage room. And I have certain things sitting around, and I'm going to put it away where you can't even tell it's really in this room because I know how to stack up this closet all the way to the back, okay? So I have a few new stuff out, old stuff, stuff I need to just put it away, and um, yeah, to really get it together. This is my other little vanity. My daughter put it up for me. She fixed it, her and her husband, and this is somewhere I could sit, um, take pictures, do my hair, clean my face, and all these other things. And I got a lot of stuff up on the wall. I kept this color for this room because this was my daughter's room, and I still wanted to feel her close to me and all that good stuff but everything is working out I got my ring lights up in here my tripod tripod yeah tripod and my ring light I got another tripod sitting right here oh I got multiple tripods around the house and and, oh, there's another vacuum cleaner. This is another vacuum cleaner I use, too. And it run by batteries. It's by Hoover. I'm not sponsored. It's by Hoover. But, yeah, this room is really needs to get tightened up, especially my vanity over here and all that good stuff. I'm going to turn these lights down. And this is my this little hallway. And... I'm going to be busy for the rest of the day. I just want to get a little busy. And then I want to uh, relax and do some more tomorrow. And I'll probably come back with another video. Or to, tonight or tomorrow, i come with another video to show you what stuff I tighten up. So, take care. The beginning of... Um, July and happy holidays all the holidays is right around the corner and all I'm trying to do is relax do a little touch up here and there and do some tomorrow and there's a wheel there's a way there's a way there's a wheel whatever you do do it large 
and have a blessed day. Like, share, push thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what make it easy for you to do things on a budget and it's hard times and to do different things in our lives. So what I'm doing right now, going to stop this video and start another one up maybe later on or maybe tomorrow just to show you I did a little bit of work just to stay motivated and don't let things pile up on me because it's really hard for me. Have a blessed day. God bless.